Hey guys, welcome to Life Elite Fitness, and today we thought we would do a healthy food haul for you. So we just went grocery shopping, we got a lot of great stuff, and we thought we'd show you what we got, and also some ideas what we're gonna make with it. So it's Sunday, time to get your food on. Yep. We usually go grocery shopping on Sundays. We love to go to Sprouts. Mm -hmm. that's, um, our, that's our place of choice. Usually when we get done with church, 9 a.m., we go over to Sprouts about 11 o'clock. Yeah. And a lot of people are still at the 11 o'clock service. People aren't quite out yet on Sundays. So it still gives us time to get around the grocery store without having to shove people out. <laughs> so we got a lot of good stuff and we'll walk you through everything we got. So I went ahead, I had Madison get this for me. It's, we made pizzas last Sunday mm -hmm. with some friends and they turned out really good. So I had her get the, uh, we, this is a different flatbread. So additionally, I did like a gluten-free flatbread. That's all they had. And then today the Sprouts, they had this guy. Um, this is a sourdough pizza crust. The ones that we got before, they were a little like, yeah. I, mean, I know it's like supposed to be flatbread. But they were like but it was squishy, like, like they didn't bake. That, and then it didn't bake right. And my, I really felt like I was eating pizza off of a, torti a tortilla. Yeah. Like it just was kind of weird. Um, so that's definitely something that we're gonna be doing later, some more pizza. Next one, of course, we got a little bit more pizza. Sauce, that's just again, Sprouts organic pizza. You'll see a lot of that. We, we like Sprouts's um, as far as their products that they <laughs> offer. You sneezing like this? Sorry. <laughs> like allergic to my voice. So anyhow, we got some jelly. This has eight grams of sugar. It was one of the lower sugar counts for jellies as far as that goes. Partially branding is really effective for me in Madison because <laughs> it had a black bear on it. Who's not gonna buy jelly that doesn't have, like all, all jellies are inferior now. <laughs> This is my favorite type of almond butter, and this is the Maranatha. I've got the kind that doesn't have any sugar, so if you're trying to stay away from sugar, um, this kind does have sugar. It has um, palm oil and yeah, evaporated cane sugar, so it's still like organic and really good, but if you're trying to stay away from sugar, this kind does have sugar, but they have a flavor that doesn't have sugar, and it's really, really good. When Daniel and I did the Whole30 last year, we got it, and that's when I first was introduced to this brand, and it's so yummy and delicious. Uh, and then I got some, these are kind of like my things that I like, Daniel doesn't like as much. I got some yogurt, because I really like yogurt, but I can't have dairy, so I kind of steer away from dairy. So I'm trying, I'm trying different types of yogurt to see what I like, I'll let you guys know. But I tried the Kite Hill in raspberry this time, um, and it's an almond milk yogurt. And almond milk and coconut are kind of weird, sometimes they're too watery and don't taste creamy like Greek yogurt, so don't be expecting... I'm not like expecting these to be like creamy and thick, but um, they might still taste good. This one I already know I like, so I got this kind. This one is a cashew yogurt, and this one's I think it's called Forager is how you say it, um, but it's really, really good, and it is kind of still not super thick, but it is thicker than almond milk yogurt in my opinion, so, and I really like that flavor. And then I tried this kind. This one's a probiotic yogurt as well. This is also with, um, coconut, uh, this one's made with coconut, um, coconut milk, but, which I don't normally like because coconut milk yogurt kind of tastes a little bit like sour sometimes, but I thought I would give this one a try and it seems to be like thicker than other yogurts. So, gonna give that a try. And then I tried something new. So, I really like hummus. Daniel doesn't like hummus very much, but I do. So, this is like a really good snack and really high in fat. So, if you're trying to find like a good snack that'll hold you over during the day rather than trying to snack on like chips or something like that, I do carrots and hummus and I heard that everything hummus is really good, so I decided to try that this time. I normally get the, I don't know what brand it it's is. It's like tomato basil. I normally get like the tomato basil, but it's not, I normally don't get the Sprouts brand. I normally get a different brand, like the name brand kind, but I can't think of the name of it right now. But the Sprouts kind had everything, so I thought I would try that. So next up, we have veggies. <laughs> We're all about oh no, you bruised it. It's okay, I got another green one. Ah, oh, you cracked it. I was trying to be in. Oh, you like, cracked it. It looks like I'm gonna be eating a bell pepper today. Yeah. So, I should have done the potatoes. Yeah, the potatoes would've been. That would've been a lot better, right? Well, I gotta start, right? Oh, God. Oh, great. Don't eat it, Chucker. No! He loves the potatoes. <laughs> okay, so, so here. Anyhow, we got plenty of vegetables. We got green beans from Sprouts. Awesome. Carrots. 
onion. Yeah. I always make Madison get those because I love it when she cries. Wow. Uh, we got honey crisp. So let's give it a no, second. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's nothing worse than bruised apples. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got some bananas. We got, um, shoot, asparagus. What were you gonna call it? Um, artichoke? I don't like artichoke, and I was like, I know I don't like artichoke, it's not an artichoke. <laughs> These are asparagus, they're delicious. Especially <laughs> with salmon, oh, it's so good. Uh, raspberries, strawberries, and always things that take after Madison, <laughs> these are really good and these are super affordable this whole bag was only like two dollars I think um, and these are just really great like snack for on the go um, and I'll sometimes have those um, before a workout too just for a little like pop of sugar you know what I mean the next thing we got was some um, stuff for salad so he showed you how we got uh, some carrots um, I like to put raspberries on my salad, and so I'll put raspberries, sometimes strawberries. I did grapes the other day, it was really good. Um, and we got the um, spring mix, which is just a blend of like baby lettuces, and it's really good. Um, I Last time I got like a kale blend, which was really good too, but Daniel doesn't like kale, so. Um, and then okay. we got uh, some spinach, so this is just some baby spinach, and both of these are organic, so um, we like to put this in our smoothies. This is really good with like a banana and some almond milk in a smoothie um that's like a really good like on the go smoothie but um but yeah this is just good for salads as well really high in iron lots of good stuff then we got some eggs because i eat eggs like literally almost every single day every day of the life did, i think we did brown ones this time yeah, yeah. did brown ones i um, literally go for cage free and then second of all cheap <laughs> literally let's though. be real okay so then daniel went to the meat section and went completely crazy so yeah we got some steaks we really like steak. all the meats Got some New York strips there. Yeah, we got New York steaks there, and then we also did um, some uh, stir fry steak. And this is really good and really cheap. Like, it's not very expensive, and this is really good to add like to a stir fry or to a salad. Um, we made like tacos and nachos with this. Really good. Really good for like a quick pick me up, and it doesn't take long to cook either. So these are really good if you're trying to cook something quick. These are really yummy. And we usually do two of those um, and with some like veggies and that's like a perfect little stir fry. The thing we got, which was like a little bit of a splurge, we got these top sirloin fillets, um, which yeah. look really, really good. I haven't had these before, so I'm excited to try those. They'll be interesting. There's not a lot of fat on them, yeah. partially. A good thing, partially, we gotta be careful how we cook them. Yeah. They're gonna be good though. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure of that. Yeah, and then we also got um, some you got pork, did you know yeah, that? Yeah, I did. I oh, wanted to try okay. pork. <laughs> he got pork. We inside. never do pork. Yeah, we never do pork. But he said, it's like, pork is really good. And we did, um, it's, yeah, if you're, if you're not, if you don't eat pork, don't try that, obviously. But we're going to try some of that. I've never cooked this before, so hopefully it'll turn out good. Anytime um, we go to Sprouts, I try to pick something a little different than what we normally eat. Yeah. Just to try it, see if we like it. Finally, we got some uh, chicken sausage. I love these. Um, and this is such an easy, quick meal they're already fully cooked so i literally just slice these up and i typically cook this with the green beans um so i'll cook green beans and like just a pot of water and then i'll like fry these in a pan and it's so good and like really easy you could also do this with like some mushrooms or something that'd be really good too and then finally like my holy grail is i got some uh ground turkey um which i use for absolutely everything so i almost like need to start buying like more than one of these but um organic ground turkey is a little expensive so but i prefer to get the organic than regular so again, that's uh, that's our food list there. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm this'll excited. Get us, this'll get us through about a week of meals. Um, so again, we this is like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and um, we'll probably show you guys um, throughout the week um, some other meals that we make with this. Like I'd love to try out this pizza, add some veggies to that, or pour broken bell pepper. I will be cooking this today. Yeah. I will figure out something with bell pepper. I'll probably throw it on my pizza, dude. Yeah, yeah if good. we do that, that'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah. What do you think, Tuck? You excited? <laughs> you excited for food? You like food? Oh, yeah. You want to show him what we he got then? food. He is so excited. Oh. He wants the food so bad. I love treats. Oh, you're I so I love sweet. treats. I'm going to shake. <laughs> so we got these little uh, dental chews, and these are, like, really good for their teeth. The other one we got, which they've already started chewing on, are these um, no-hide. Would you give me a minute? Oh, he's so excited. These no-hide um, bones, and these are, like, really good for their teeth as well. And they take a long time to chew up, so it keeps them busy, because sometimes, like, when we're gone during the day, they'll chew on stuff. So this keeps them busy. Is this what you want? Yeah. 
Yeah, they want it so big. Oh man, oh there it is. Good catch. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know if you wanna see more food videos, if you wanna see some cooking videos, even though we're not chefs. People like to see people cooking. I make good food. I, like, I, I make good food. You make good food. You make good food. Sometimes. She does uh, the... Uh, pad Thai. Pad Thai. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I am good at Pad Thai. so good. <laughs> so if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Did I already say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And don't forget... But if you want, you can do it a double thumbs up. Who cares? No, that's kind of unlike it. Don't yeah, unlike yeah. it. Do, 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 do. All thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, if you like what we're doing here, let us know if you have comments as far as ideas on like how to cook this food or Especially other food that we should be buying that's really good for you, bring it up. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and we'll see you guys next time for our next video. See ya. Well, it was a challenge, but we got all that stuff in here. There was like, this fridge is so tiny, but we got everything stuffed in here.